guys, welcome to this episode of From the Pages of WWF Magazine. I am Anthony, this is Collector's Entertainment Network, and this week we get into the October 1989 issue with the Bushwhackers on the cover. But before we get into that, I'd like to ask you guys, please subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you back. Please comment down below, I'd love to hear your WWF Magazine memories. Please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well, and of course, please give this video a like, it really helps a lot. Also, if you want, go on over to Facebook, check out the Collectors Entertainment Network page, give that a like, and join the Federation Nation group. I'd love to have you over there as well. Okay, October 1989, Bushwhackers on the cover. Let's get into the pages. All right, guys, here we go. October 1989, the Bushwhackers on the cover. Bushwhackers, Butch and Luke talk strategy and sardines. Demolition dethroned, Heenan's busters bag the belt. Ultimate Warrior, mind and body of a champion. Dusty Rhodes, battling to put Big Boss Man behind bars. And Tito Santana, Martel, prepares to lash out. And you've got in this issue, win lunch with your favorite wrestler and Garvin reinstated. So I guess they're going back to the win lunch with your favorite wrestler competition. We saw that as such an important part. In the early days of WWF Magazine a few years earlier. Alright, I got this on September 8th, 1989. You can see up there. And now available on video cassette, SummerSlam 89, Feel the Heat. They actually include the 89 here, which they didn't do in a lot of the promo stuff. Alright, moving on. All right, you've got your normal information center, join the fan club, and then your list of like all the publishers and all that good stuff. Got some Hall's vitamin C drop ad right there. Moving on around the ring. It's about Brett the Hitman Hart and collect superstars of wrestling card series two. 12 new exciting cards get one free with every delicious bar. This is an ad that's in every magazine. Well, it's funny, they alternate between this and the other ad. Um, from magazine to magazine, but I, I we always talk about it. Those things were delicious. If if anyone out there watching this has never eaten one of those, I feel a little bad for you. It was a treat. All right, you've got your any CDs or twelve cassettes for a penny. Cool stuff there. Fan forum. You got Macho Man and Sensational Sherry. Oh, and they've changed the. Subscription ad, it had been Jimmy Hart for uh, many, many, many months, and now all of a sudden it is Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Jim Duggan says, thumbs up to WF Magazine, and you can save 42% off the listed price. And Santa has WF Magazine on your gift list. And then obviously on the other end of this is going to be all the cards that you can pull out and send in as well. As like this, but it's this is nicer, so you don't have to ruin your magazine to get a subscription. But of course, I already had a subscription at this point. Body language by Jesse Ventura, his continuing column here in WWF Magazine. Oh, and a new wrestling spotlight. The past few issues have been promoting the Ultimate Warrior Wrestling Spotlight, but here is the Brett the Hitman Heart One. What is that? Volume Five. On sale at your newsstand now. Newsbreakers Miss Elizabeth Rowdy Roddy Piper joined WWF Television Commentator Ranks. WWF Wrestling Spotlight and WWF Primetime Wrestling. I'm going to tell you, I obviously remember Rowdy Roddy Piper joining Primetime Wrestling, but what I guess it's saying here is Miss Elizabeth joined Wrestling Spotlight. I, I really don't remember that. I've got a lot of old VHS tapes that I taped back in the day, mostly in like 87, 88. Don't know how much I was still taping in 89. Of course, still watching it. Um, but I probably have, I definitely have some in 89. I got to see, because I don't think Wrestling Spotlight is on Peacock. Of course, I could probably find it on YouTube, but I don't really remember that. Do you guys remember that? Miss Elizabeth joining uh, the commentator ranks, I guess for Wrestling Spotlight, because it's obviously Piper was on primetime. Guys, let me know in the comments below. I really, truly do not remember Miss Elizabeth joining, um, I guess, what was she joining? Mean Gene on Wrestling Spotlight? That was sort of a best of show. Uh, it was also syndicated, but it basically took matches from both Challenge and Superstars and, um, you know, showed you that sort of a highlight show. 
All right, personality profile, the Widowmaker. As we all know, that is Barry Windham. And the talk with the Bushwhackers, WWF interview. Yeah, I'm sure that's really uh, entertaining. What are they saying? Again, it begs the question, uh, did they actually bring the wrestlers in to do an interview and they stayed in character and stuff? Or was this just done by the writing staff at WWF Magazine? Brain Busters take championship for this Battle of the Titans. Looks like it was a Saturday night's main event. I do kind of remember that, but you could tell right there you got the Saturday night's main event logo up there. I have to go back and find which one that was. The Brain Busters take the title. Well, they got Andre in the corner, so did he help out, guys? I don't remember. I really, uh, I want to go back and check this out. I do go on Peacock, you know, relatively often, not all the time, but I do go back and check out different things, but there's just so much from back in the day that, uh, it's hard to remember all these specific ones, but I will definitely try and check this out. Oh, yeah, he hit some with a chair. I'm sure Andre got in, involved in some way. Never again. The Ultimate Warrior vows never again to lose his title. And he doesn't really, not the Intercontinental title, because he holds it until WrestleMania 6, and spoiler alert, beats Hulk Hogan. And then they just sort of take the title away from him. He will, of course, lose the WWF world title to uh, Sergeant Slaughter, but he never loses the Intercontinental title again. All right, there he is. What is that? Barry Horowitz. And then you've got uh, him coming off the top rope. And then you've got some Bobby the Brain Heenan stuff. Look at this. Danny Davis back being a ref at this point. I don't remember exactly when he stopped. Do you guys remember when he went back to being a ref? Let me know down below because I don't remember that. Some more stuff of him versus Jobbers. All this rage on the Warriors part was targeted at Rick Rude. Well, don't take it out on the poor Jobbers. In WWF Trivia, you've got WrestleMania, you've got odds and ends, you've got Miller time, you've got old and new faces, and you've got places. And here, again, it's the order of the WWF catalog because they're not giving it to you in the magazine, which I find a little silly, but there you go. You can order it. Dusty Rhodes passes sentence. The boss man will serve time in my prison. Look, he's not in the polka dots yet. He's got the tie-dye. Not sporting the polka dots just yet here in WWF. Yep, there you go. Boss man, slick. And some pics of the dream pre-polka dots. Oh, he stole the boss man's uh, nightstick and hat. Oh, it's back again. Lunch with your favorite wrestler. Yep, it had been a couple of years, I think. At 87 at least, I think was the last time they did it. You guys know? Let me know. Oh, and Rugged Ronnie returns to the ring. Is this him returns as a ref, or did he was he reinstated as a wrestler? I think he might have been reinstated as a wrestler. I think it was something like he just kept messing with Valentine, and as a referee, Valentine wasn't allowed to, you know, like, beat him up. So, like, Valentine wanted him back as a wrestler, so then he could at least hit him back or something. <laughs> like, it was something like that. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but there he is, counting uh, Valentine's shoulders down against Snuka. And the rise and fall of Strike Force. Oh, and Martel was with Slick at this point. It was before he went with uh, Sensational Sherry. I think Sherry kind of only managed one person at a time. At this point, it was Macho Man. Then she goes on to Rick Martel, and then eventually um, with uh, Shawn Michaels. Now you've got some action uh, versus the Brain Busters. I think this is uh, from, what, WrestleMania Five when they break up? And Jimmy Hart, how much does he help the Rougeau brothers? I don't know, but those are some crazy... Crazy robes that those the Rujos have. Pretty nice. All right, some more Jimmy Hart. We've got some stuff with the Hart Foundation up here. Obviously, he is uh, not with them anymore. The Honky Tonk Man, and then the Rujos and the Rockers right there. Some more of the Jimmy Hart article, and then Superstars Four. Look for this full color action packed guide to the WWF's top stars at your newsstand. 
And of course, they show you Superstars 1, 2, and 3, but you can't get them. Obviously, this is Superstars 4, which is on newsstand now. I don't think maybe at this point you could get Superstars 3 in a back issue. We'll see if it's in there. But you couldn't get Superstars 1 and 2, so I don't know the reason for showing it, but they did. And here you go. King Duggan visits Hershey Park. And here is the other side of what I was talking about before, where you got all the cards that you can uh, order WF magazine from. And there is more of Duggan at Hershey Park. All right. Pretty cool, Hershey Park. I went there a few times as a kid. Oh, there he is with the, some of the characters there playing some games. All right. The World Wrestling Federation Lowdown. Wow, this changed. I wonder if this continues. I honestly don't remember it looking like this. Was it a... Uh, you know, a short time looking like this, or um, did it go like this for a while? I don't remember this. But here you got like, it's like mini articles now. The Undisputed Giant, Mr. Perfect Hillbilly Jim, Superfly Jimmy Snooker, Ted DiBiase, and Doctor of Love. There you go. A definitely different look for Lowdown. It looks like, you know, like the New York Times or something. Wrestlers Rebuttal, Why Were the Real Champions by Axe and Smash of Demolition. And here you go with the crossroads. Still didn't figure this one out. And no wrestler in the middle. Like, they couldn't come up with someone. They put the WF logo. They couldn't put someone in there. I mean, they had a bunch of wrestlers they could have put in there. Caught in the act. Jimmy Snooker back, I guess, when he was back in Fiji. Um, climbing a tree. All right, then. And I want, I can, Adidas ad. And here you go, the back. There was no match for WWF WrestleMania. You've got WrestleMania, the NES game, and the handheld game brought to you by Acclaim. All right, guys. That is the October 1989 issue with the Bushwhackers on the cover. All right, guys. That is the October 1989 issue with the Bushwhackers on the cover. Again, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Please comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments. Please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well. And of course, please like the video. Helps a great deal. Go on over to Facebook. Check out the Collector's Entertainment Network Facebook page. Give that a like. And join the Federation Nation group. I'd love to have you over there as well. All right. October 1989 is done. That means next week we move on to November 1989 with the Ultimate Warrior on the cover. But until next time, guys, have a good one.